All right, hi everybody. My name is Peter and I'm here with uh, a little tip slash trick that can maybe help you with your drawing or doodling. Uh, or if you just want a video to watch, we're here. This is less about what lines in particular to draw and more about a mindset to get in that can help you keep moving forward, keep being excited and motivated about your uh, drawing and art and stuff like that. All right, so you're gonna need some paper, a pen. I've got some uh, Rhodia paper here, a nice uh, Muji aluminum pen. It really doesn't matter what you use. It all comes down to your personal preference. That's what matters the most. You can just use the plainest, simplest paper and a pencil or like a Bic pen, right? Go grab, um, you know, your phone. You can draw with your phone, your computer, anything. A crayon on the wall, okay? That's not what matters here. What matters here is that you get started. I'm going to get started just by drawing some very simple, clumpy, um, doodly lumps here in the middle of the paper. And uh, as you see, I'm going to talk and draw, which I'm not really the best at, but I'm just going to do it anyways because that's not really what matters here. I call this method uh, urban sprawl method, but I'm just calling it that because it's already a term that exists, so it sounds a little bit catchier. Really, in the back of my mind, I call it the growth of civilization method or maybe uh, the, the organic growth method because it's, it can be at a lot of different scales. Right, because maybe this is the, the idea here is that maybe I'm drawing like a a city top-down view, like a map, right? Or it could be that I'm drawing like the diagram of some sort of amoeba or bacteria. I like that idea also. So maybe this is like the city center here, right? I like this idea because you can put like little stories behind everything you draw. But look, the idea here is that as soon as you get bored of well, a more overarching idea is that as soon as you get bored of literally anything you're ever drawing, I think you should stop and do something else. Either stop drawing entirely or change what you're drawing. And that applies here too. In a smaller scale, if you're tired of this little clump that you're doodling, go over here and start another clump. In this case, maybe you're starting another nearby town. Maybe this is the town I live in and maybe this is my house right here. Maybe this is McDonald's, here's the gym, here's, uh, I don't know, this is the water purification plant right here, here's some tanks, right? And you just kind of work it all in there. You don't have to actually draw things that look like specific things. That's not the real idea behind this. It's more that it's just getting you excited and, I don't know, pulled into the, the lore behind your drawing, I guess, like these, these little doodly lines could represent real things, I suppose. Now, at any point here, you could go ahead and connect these two doodles, right? You could go ahead like this and draw a road that connects them. And maybe there are some buildings or something along the road, or I don't remember all of my biology teaching, but maybe there's some, this could be some sort of like flagella connecting this. I can't stress enough that it doesn't really matter what this stuff is, but that uh, maybe you just create some little stories in your head for what it could be. And I don't know if it's maybe because I spent so much time as a kid being a, fixated with looking at maps and playing city building games and stuff like that, that this fascinates me. But it does. Like, just keep adding little things that could be things and little roads and it's just so much more fun for me, personally at least, than just drawing lines. I think that it's a little bit weird that the second town I built is bigger than the first town I built. So I'm going to work on expanding the first city. And you could keep going back and forth so that they both grow at the same rate. Or you could just work on one or the other. And maybe, maybe there should be another road going off here to maybe, you know, like, I don't know, there's like an amph amphitheater over here or something. I don't know. The key is that as soon as you get bored of this uh, little mind game you're playing, you can stop at any moment and you're like, hey, this actually looks like it could be some weird mechanoid thing I'm drawing or a monster or a scene from a story I want to write or it could literally be anything else. Like maybe this is now not a top-down drawing, but now I want to make it into like a 
the viewing from the side or any drawing you make can go through many different gear changes, right? It can be different things along the way. Each drawing can be a process, right? A little creative journey that you play with yourself. Like it can be a fun, it can be like an actual fun time. That's why I enjoy drawing personally because, I don't know, it's like when you watch a movie or something, there's like a story being told. But when I draw, kind of the same thing happens. I kind of tell myself a story and I watch the drawing grow and evolve, but it's not just a drawing. It can be a million other things. I barely drew anything, but for the sake of this example, I'll probably stop there. But when the drawing ends, right, it's only one thing. But throughout the process of the drawing, it could have been a million different things. At the beginning, it was a little city I was growing, and halfway through, it was this weird robot monster. And then by the end, it was just, I don't know, some sort of factory thing. I, I do end up drawing factory things a lot of the time. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Look, this, this is what I want to say. Uh, draw. You can tell little stories to yourself while you draw. And if you ever get bored of what you're drawing, just switch it up a little bit. Don't, because this happens to me all the time. I'm drawing. I'm like, this, these lines I'm drawing, I'm not into these. So just immediately stop and draw something else. Okay. Take a break if you need to. Hope any of this made sense to you or helped you at all. Telling yourself little stories through your doodles like this shouldn't make it more difficult. I think it will make it more fun and you should be able to draw for longer and more intricate and detailed drawings that, of course, the people who look at the finished product may not be able to see everything you went through, all the, the crazy journey you, that you told yourself. But uh, I don't know, maybe I'm talking like a crazy person right now. But anyways, I'd love to see what you all come up with. Hope this helps. And uh, all right. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? All right, bye. Here's actual, some previous little drawings I did similar to this. You can see the same style, same kind of idea there. It's fun.